Today, I want to talk about my first 90 days as an insurance agent. Now, before I go into the details, let me just introduce myself. I'm Prince Donnell. Uh, I've been a licensed agent for the past 10 years. I'm licensed across the country. I started out working at TD Bank and then I moved to Wells Fargo and then ultimately became an independent agent. So I was never a part of a major IMO like WFG, PHP, uh, FFL, or Primerica. I've always worked either in the financial banking world or moved independently. Now, from that point, I went and started Jumping Jack Tax after I left the bank and I went into tax and accounting and I launched a franchise where we have 20 franchise locations across six different states. And then I said, you know what, I want to go back into the insurance space after I left the bank and uh, my license ended up lapsing. I got my license back, went independent, started Jack Life Insurance to complement my tax and accounting practice. And from that point, the life insurance business ended up blowing up. We did amazing. And I want to talk about what my first 90 days were, what it looked like when I moved independent and actually relaunched my agency. Okay. Let's talk about your first 30 days if you're brand new. Okay. So in your first 30 days, I think it's important that you learn the skill set of sales, you learn the industry and you build out your script. Okay. Learn the skill set of sales, learn the industry, build out your script. That's all that matters. I, t I say this to you because I find that uh, many life insurance agents, which at this, t as of today, uh, we coach over 650 life insurance agents, provide them with leads, sales scripts, CRMs, and many of them who come to my organization, they don't know how to sell. Um, because when you got your license, it gave you the, you know, the ability to legally offer life insurance, but you don't know how to sell it, right? And sell, sales is a skill set. It's not something that you just magically understand and learn. And even when you're on the phone talking about life insurance, it is a sell. It's why 50% of America doesn't have insurance today. They have to be sold and influenced into getting life insurance, something which is good for them. In my first 30 days, I learned sales. And I'm going to share with y'all two books that I read that's going to be able to help you on the sell side. The first one is called Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort. And the second one is called Influence by Robert Saldini, okay? These two books helped me. Way of the Wolf helped me understand the straight line sales system, right? And, 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 and it began to emphasize why I needed a sales script, how to overcome objections, what was the purpose of the call. And I began to use all of the notes from that book to be able to help me with my insurance sales. And then I read Influence. And through Influence, it teaches you how to, of course, influence through yourself and through your words, but how to influence others as well. Because that's important when we're in telesales talking about life insurance so those two books alone study those in your first 30 days is going to be a game changer for you okay um here's the next part that i found important read the entire product line of the carriers in your first 30 days i only chose two carriers okay that i went with i, I find that a lot of agents are choosing 10 15 different carriers to work with and i'll be honest with you you know how hard it is to understand the product lines and the underwriting guidelines of 15 different insurance carriers? It's really hard. I chose the main two, to me, that I felt pretty much uh, could get almost everybody approved, no matter if they were in full health or, you know, have diabetes, okay? And uh, with those two carriers now, my only goal is to learn as much as I can about their product lines. Okay, so one of the carriers, let's use it as an example of Mutual of Omaha, they got like maybe 10 different products. So I decided to study every product and understand what was offered, what were the age ranges, um, what were the, what was offered, what was the age ranges, why does this matter, how was what's the what's the uh What's the period of time between when the when the uh, application is submitted versus when it gets approved? What gets denied? I studied these products in this first 30 days because I want to be an I want to be an expert in it. You know, don't don't be the agent who gets your license, get contracted with the carrier, and then you hop right out there and you don't know anything. And I meet a lot of agents that way. They're like, hey, I only sell prop I only sell property protection. And I'm like, well, do you only do you only sell mortgage protection because you haven't educated yourself on the rest of the products or, you know, that's your lazy way out, you know, and many of them are like, nah, I just don't know anything about the rest of the products. That's a problem, right? You're a financial representative. And when I, when I saw that about myself, I said, I, I got to learn everything because I, I don't want to be handcuffed to one product line. It's kind of like McDonald's only being handcuffed to a burger when they could sell fries, right? You don't want to do that. So, so with that, Learn everything about the product line and choose two carriers 
that could pretty much work for all of the clients that you have. The next part to that is read the entire underwriting guidelines of those carriers. So now that I now that I understood the products, I wanted to understand underwriting. Okay, um, I wanted to understand what were the weight, what were the weight classifications, what are the body mass, the body mass index, right? What's the metrics that are associated? What are the different uh, targets that that the underwriters go through um what, what would automatically deny somebody what's the ideal person that that the underwriter would approve what type of medications uh would, would automatically deny deny someone i want to understand everything about underwriting because through that i'm able to make better assessments with my clients um on the phone up front i'm able to qualify and understand hey you be a great fit or already qualify and say hey and it makes no sense to put through this application because uh based off of what i know you're not going to get approved that saved me so much time right imagine being on the line for 45 minutes with a prospect and then literally at the end of the 45 it gets denied but you would have already known that had you just studied the underwrite guideline so through me doing that it saved me a lot of time and headache and prevented my back end underwriting process from going crazy and my persistency rate right which is important if you don't know what persistency is it means that the amount of uh policies that you sell how many of them stay on the books and how many of them lapse or really either don't don't even get approved to begin with you want to measure that um so um uh, read the read the entire underwriting guidelines of the carriers the next part is review your comp plan to know how to maximize so after i got done studying the products then i studied my underwriting guidelines and then i studied the comp plan i want to know what's what's the max comp plans what products provide max which one like i want to and, and i had a whiteboard set up breaking down every product and what the commissions were for each one okay it gave me a better understanding of how i'm financially compensated through helping my clients okay so read your comp plan to make sure that you have the ability to maximize now of course if you're with an imo then you're gonna have to maximize the comp plan based off of the imo right which i don't know if that could be good or bad with me being on independent my comp plan was tied to the actual carrier itself okay here's the next part that you want to do in 30 days and here's what i did i built out my own sales script okay i did that in the first 30. now remember i'm not getting on the phone with anybody yet these are all the things i'm telling you to do now based off of what i've done i built out a sales script because i knew based off of when i read uh way of the wolf by jordan belfer he said i better not get on any call until my sales script is ready and he in that book he taught you how to design out your own sales script and i did that and i said okay i'm going to get the sales script and now my goal is over these 30 days to practice this sales script as much as i can in the mirror out loud talk to potential um talk to friends family members and just call them and practice this thing and uh from that now i want to get proficient and uh, efficient when it comes to that sell script and knowing how to how to utilize it and then the next part is here's the last two things you want to you want to uh and this is what i did in the first 30 days i practice the e-app at least five times a day so I will go inside of Mutual of Omaha or another carrier, and my goal was to practice this e, this e application. I want to go from top to bottom, all the way down, every time, and I want to know at what areas are the most questions asked, at what areas where is there is there confusion, right? At what areas, uh, and then what 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 based on the product that Mutual of Omaha offers, um, how fast is the e app when it comes to a term life express? or a term life answers what about a drop ticket what about now i'm understanding this so now i know if i got to go term life express it's going to take about 30 minutes i know if i do uh cwl it could probably take me 15. so i'm i'm going through the e-apps and i'm making sure I, I i i do it because again when i'm on the line my my goal is efficiency i can't be on a call with the client for two hours right and that's why i was able to sell a lot more policies probably more policies than most agents across the industry was because i made an efficient process to get in and out of the transaction with the client as quickly as possible part of that came from me maximizing and um and, and practicing that e-application every single day in my first 30 days and then the last part to that in your 30 days is you want to uh you want to buy a policy on yourself for two reasons number one is because you're not going to have a good understanding of how your product works unless you bought the policy um because now you can get on the phone with high levels of conviction and say hey i'm selling you on this term life policy because i have one myself and let me break down how it works that conviction alone is just like that's going to allow you to close a lot more deals just by you having the products on yourself i mean why would you trust somebody that's like it's like a chef who doesn't eat his own food, right? Like you, you would never eat their food. Like why don't you eat your own food? So buy the buy 
buy the policy on yourself so you can have conviction when you're on the phone. But the second part to that too is that you want to understand the, the customer journey that your prospects are going to go through. So you may not have known if you didn't go through the EAP process yourself that they were going to get an email uh, a, a HIPAA email that they're going to have to sign and then in order for them to sign it it goes to their email then they got to click a button then click another button and if you never did that you're not going to be able to properly uh, direct them on how to do it which means you're going to be on the phone for two hours as opposed to me saying hey I did this before click that button click that button click that yep you're done there it is and then all right here's how you sign do this all right put your city and state right there boom done so write an e-app on yourself and when you're writing the e-app, write down every single piece of the process so you can have it when you're on the line with the prospect and walk them through the stages if they get stuck, okay? That's what you wanna do in your first 30 days. So number one, uh, you wanna, in your first 30 days, you wanna learn the skill set of sales. So read Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort, Influence by Robert Cialdani. And then you wanna read the entire product line of your carrier that you choose, all the products that they offer. And then you wanna read the entire underwriting guideline of the product, of the products uh, and the carrier that you're associated with. And then next part, you wanna review the comp plan, um, build your sales script, and you want to practice the e-app five times and then buy a policy on yourself now with that let's move into 60 days right now that was my that was my first 30 days i didn't sell a single policy in 30 days i wanted to focus on that now moving into my 60th day here's what i did here in that 60 day here's what i have i filled my pipeline as quickly as possible and then i went through as many calls as i could volume and then i experimented and i listened to as many sales calls but let me break down what i mean by that so you so you have a real uh real idea so the first thing that i did was i said i need to have a now that i'm on my 60th day and i practice over 30 days i need a reputable lead vendor now i never i actually uh became my own lead vendor because i learned how to run ads on facebook instagram TikTok, and youtube and how to produce leads as of today uh we probably produce well over fifty thousand leads in the past 12 to 18 months so I'm a master at knowing how to produce leads and how to run advertisements online. So I started to practice that and uh, and I was able to start producing leads automatically. Now, if you don't have that skill set that I have of creating video content, learning how to run ads, then this, this is where you need to find a reputable lead vendor. Now, that's part of the reason why I launched Jack Life Assurance, Jack Life Leads, where now with over 700 agents that are currently um, in our in our community, we provide them with leads we provide them with the sales script we provide them with softwares and systems because your goal should be to focus on building your agency not focusing on the marketing side right so i decided to focus on uh i in the beginning i, I did both where i did marketing and sales but then i ultimately moved over to marketing and now just have agents who actually handle the sales side and we provide them with the leads similar to what we could do for you so Find a reputable lead vendor because you want to fill your pipeline as fast as possible. Yes, referrals are great. Yes, um, 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 referrals are great. Yes, warm market is cool, but that's never going to get you to where you want to go fast, right? That's a very slow game. Trust me, because I've done referrals in warm market. Your warm market is going to die out sooner or later. Um, and then and you're going to have to keep begging your family and friends and people that they know. And then referrals are just slow, right? You may get a referral two, three times a week. My goal is to sell five to 10 policies a day, right? So with that goal, I said, I can't, I can't do that. I gotta, I gotta produce leads. Like literally, how can I get 10, 15, 20 leads a day coming through my door so I'm able to sell more policies, okay? I did that, right? Then the next thing I did was I got in contact with as many people as possible so I could begin testing my skill set of sales. So remember, my first 30, I had the sales script and I was practicing. Now my goal is to get on the line and start utilizing that script here in the 60 days. And that's what I did. I, I went to as many people as possible and I said the script live with real prospects who were interested in insurance, okay? And um, and then and then the goal from there is to, is to be able to record the calls. So I recorded a lot of my phone calls because my, my goal was to listen back to all of those calls. So I had the ability to make adjustments to the sales script and also make adjustments to my tonality in the way that I'm saying things and how I'm uh, presenting the opportunity of buying life insurance, okay? So uh, that's, that was, that's the goal in that 60 days, volume. You wanna focus on as much volume as possible, record the calls and listen back to them so now you can understand how you sound and pretty much gauge, okay, when I did this call, I closed the deal and the client got insurance. 
when I did it this way, I didn't. And when that person gave me that objection, I wasn't able to answer that. Now I have a better way to answer it. So that's why I'm saying in this 60 days series from six, day 60 to 90, volume, 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 as many calls as you possibly can, have them recorded and listen back to all of them, okay? And like I said, I was making tweaks to my sales scripts throughout that time. Um, and then and then the last goal is to get as much cash flow as possible in the door between day 60 to day 90. That was my only goal. I need cash flow, which means that I need to talk to as many people as possible, volume. So yes, you are going to have to spend money to be able to get leads in your door, right? It's not going to be it's cheap. If you're cheap on your leads and you're spending two, three, five dollars, ten dollars on leads, you're not not gonna go nowhere far i said find a reputable quality lead vendor and it may cost you money and that's what i did i dished out a lot of money to be able to produce a lot of leads in my door so i could go through that volume and i could really test things out and from that point my goal was to get as much cash flow as possible in the door which means that i need to close a certain percentage of those deals so that now i could produce the cash flow that's necessary okay now now that i've produced the cash flow aka commissions this is where now day 90 on goes, right? What do I do on my 90th day? So here was my goal on day 90 now. Now that I've, now that I've tested and I've tweaked and I got cash flow coming in because I was practicing that first 30 days, now here on my 90th day, I'm utilizing my money now to be able to create better efficient systems for me to be able to close even more, right? Because my money is simply a tool. Don't take your commission and then start using it to, bl to blow it on a brand new car, a house, clothes, because that's not what great business people do. And as an agent, you are a business, okay? You have to look at yourself in that manner. So with that, I decided to use all the cash that I earned in commission and I reinvested it into two, into two things. The first thing that I reinvested into was I hired a VA. And the, the entire purpose of this VA was every time that a lead came through my doors, that VA needed to call within 60 seconds. So as soon as somebody filled it out, VA was calling them. Hey, what's going on? I'm calling on behalf of Prince Dino and Jack Life Insurance. Hey, yes, you just filled out your information. Let's go ahead and set up an appointment or let me get you transferred over to Prince Dinell or one of his uh, team members right now to be able to figure out if we can get this process started. The faster I could get in contact with the leads within a matter of 60 to seconds, the be I was getting crazy, crazy results. So I got leads coming in, VA calling immediately within 60 seconds, getting on, getting connected with the live person, and then boom, I was able to sell so many more policies in a day because of it. Now, if I blew all my cash, in, in the 60th day that, that I that I earned, I wasn't able to hire a VA. This is what I'm telling you. Reinvest your commissions in, 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 a, uh, uh, in a smarter way. And that was through me hiring a VA on my team. That was first thing that I did. I, re, I invested in the VA. Then the second thing I did was I invested into a CRM slash follow-up system. So I knew that there were a certain amount of leads that were gonna come through the door and my VA was gonna call them and uh, get them on the line and a certain percentage were gonna answer right there on the spot. But what about the percentage of people that didn't answer? Well, that's where now I will move all of those to my follow-up software. And then in doing that, I had text message workflows already set up, okay? And I got these workflows set up like 90 days out, which means that once that lead comes into my follow-up system, um, it sends them text messages for up to 90 days until they finally respond. Now with that, my follow-up software is doing, is, is sending those text messages and emails so I don't have to focus on doing that and wasting an hour of my time. And then my VA is calling people that are coming into the door immediately, which means that my only focus is on selling more policies. And as soon as my policy gets sold, and I hit submit, I already have the next person ready, either on my schedule, on my calendar, or transferred down from my VA to be able to go to that next policy. And that's how I was able to do five, 10 plus policies a day. And people were like, Don, how are you doing this? I just had proper systems set up. And 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 uh, and I reinvested my money the right way. And I built a real business, a real agency. And uh, that's what I did in my first 90 days, okay? And through that, I was able to achieve massive results I got awarded by National Life Group for selling some of the most policies across the country. Um, I sold a lot of policies through Mutual of Omaha, a lot of different carriers, uh, and uh, really successful in it. And now, um, with that, uh, I've moved over to the marketing side, and now we have over 650 agents that we provide leads. We provide them with the quality branded leads that we offer, CRM follow-up systems. So that same follow-up software that we had, 
we now offer that to 600 plus agents that already has all my workflows already built in so that now all leads can go straight there and they can utilize it sell scripts everything in between okay but systems are the name of the game system stands for save yourself time energy and money and if you could do that and then you could you could uh, leverage your money in the right way you'll be an excellent agent don't do what the 95 percent of agents are doing which are get their first check and then they blow it on bills or all types of crazy stuff and then they, they they can't reinvest their funds and they end up quitting the business because they're like it doesn't work for me or they're not making any money do it the right way and if you follow this 90 day guideline then uh i believe you're going to have a lot more success than most agents that come in this industry with that being said uh, to end this out if you're interested in joining um, the community that i've launched providing you with leads sales scripts the follow-up software that we offer and everything in between then uh, hit the link below you'll be able to get more information there about how to actually be a part of our community and our and uh, utilizing our leads and everything associated with that but i hope this video found you found a lot of value through this video and that you uh restart your 90 days right if so if you're past 90 restart it again do it all over and i guarantee that if you did that over again you're going to see a much better result than what you're getting now but that said, I'm Prince Donnell. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video where I'm going to be providing so much more value to you as an insurance agent. Peace.